Hey guys, Marksman here once again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator on any iOS mobile device. There it is, it's called GBA for iOS. And right now I will show you what it looks like and how it's used and how it's played. You can see that I have like the whole like setup kind of thing. It shows you that I can, you know, you can have like the little uh, D-pad and all that stuff. Now I'm going to quit the game and uninstall it so that I can show you the process from the very beginning. And yes, I did have Kirby the Amazing Mirror. And that's the first game I'm going to download as soon as I, you know, delete it off my phone. Now deleting it isn't enough. You have to go into your options, go to settings. Now I was trying to figure it out, but it's general. Then you go scroll down and it is your profile. You have to take away this thing, otherwise it is not completely uninstalled from your phone, just in case you want to uninstall it. Now then, you do not need to jailbreak your phone. All you need to do, and I'll have a link directly to this, is, well, you have to go to this website. Now then, you have to get to this website entitled Riley Tesset iOS developer and he's a pretty cool dude because he made this sweet emulator so you're gonna wanna go to that website that's right linked inside the text and it'll bring you to this page now it does tell you you have to set your date before 2012 or during 2012 or just basically before 2013 like September 4th or something I'm not sure why but you have to do that so that's how you do it you go to general date and time uh, and set it back I set it to 2011 because, you know, I like to be safe in my travels and I accidentally misclicked and you will have to reload the page if you do that just for reference if you're an idiot like me. Now then, I do reload the page indeed and then I do install GBA for iOS. That is the one you want. Now then, it'll install like any other app on your phone and I move it just to the place it was because I am OCD like that. And you see I have no more ROMs, they got deleted, they, they're gone, they're donezo. So you have to hit that little cool ex er, uh, search tap thingy, and it'll open through Safari. Now, this is one of the only pages you can open while your phone is still in 2011 or 2012 mode. You cannot really have a party and search for anything else, otherwise it'll tell you you have to verify your cache. That just means you have to change your time back. Now, I will be installing Kirby the Amazing Mirror because that was one of my favorite games of all time. So, you have to go to this page on CoolRom.com and find the download link at the very bottom. Not the one where it says GBA for iOS. Don't be fooled, that doesn't work. Now, you see it'll download as though it were searching for a page, but that's actually a downloading. And then it will bring you to this beautiful white crisp page where it'll ask you what you want to do with it. And you open with GBA for iOS not Google Drive Mark, yes, GBA for iOS, and it'll bring you right back, and it'll run just the same. Now my recording software derped out and kind of broke on me at this point, so I basically installed another game, but it didn't record, and after the lamest transition of all time, there it is, Advanced Wars 2 Black Hole Rising because of the beautiful innuendo in that. Now, I did the exact same process, you have to set your time back, uh, otherwise you can't install games basically it just doesn't work I've never tried it before but it doesn't work and yeah so this is Advanced Wars 2 Black Hole Rising <laughs> now I was using an iPad as you can see by that little cool times one thing in the bottom right hand corner what if you are going to play on a phone I highly recommend the full screen and not this screen because otherwise you're actual display is like one tenth the size of your phone and you can't see anything but since I was playing on iPad I made it this display making it cool now I have to say that there is a function that I did not cover in this recording and that is because my progress on the other one got erased because of my recording software again but you can do a toggle speed function and that basically makes your whole game run at about times three so if you have a game that has some lackadaisical dialogue you can just skip over it very quickly and manage to get past it with very much so ease now there is another really cool function about this emulator and that is the save state function there's still more to be added like cheats and whatnot but the save state function basically does as such 
you can save your game like as though it were a Skyrim save where it saves exactly where you were standing yada da 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 and you can load it at any time so right here I'm going to save my state and then I'm gonna save my state again because I can't decide anything because I'm very you know indecisive like that so I'm gonna build my inventory as though I were gonna actually play this game on camera but I assure you that it's not gonna take that long because I'm really silly and I have nothing better to do with my time so after I am in turn I'm going to save my state again and there you go I'm gonna save my state and then move my tank to a place where I didn't want to move it why did I do that I'm a silly dude but no I'm gonna leave it there and then load my state back up because I can't move it back so I'm gonna load my state to the point where I'm just before I moved it and now I can move it wherever I want now this will work for Pokemon just before you want to catch a Pokemon so you could you know keep trying you can catch like freaking Rayquaza with a Pokeball or you can try and beat that gym or dungeon over and over again in Kirby if you want or you know Legend of Zelda you can keep trying the same puzzle over and over without trying to go leave the room and come back or whatever that is very helpful it's a cool feature and I'm glad they have it anyway and thusly that was Advanced Wars 2 Black Holes and this was or Black Holes <laughs> Uprising or whatever Thank you guys for watching, I'm Marksman, this was how to get your Game Boy Advance awesomeness on your iOS mobile device, and I will see you guys later. Stick around and maybe, you know, see some of my other videos. I'll see you guys later. See you guys later, see you guys later.